Hey, it's Aubrey. If you guys are new here, hi and welcome. Today I want to give you guys an empty house tour. We just moved in over the weekend and we snagged a bunch of clips before we moved in. And I want to show you guys our new place in the desert. We're very excited um, and I think you guys are going to like the place too. So let's get started with the tour. So this is the front of our home. We have a nice outdoor covered porch, which I'm very excited to decorate and kind of get that situated for maybe next spring. But right when you walk in the home, we have vaulted ceilings right in the entryway, which I absolutely love. It just makes it feel so big and open. We have the upstairs that goes to the second floor of the home. Right when you walk in, we have the living room. This is our um, fireplace that we actually ended up upgrading a lot we added these I kind of picked out like this kind of gray stone to go around the fireplace which I'm absolutely in love with I think it's gonna look great we have our big slider window to the outside of our home this leads to the backyard this is the kitchen we ended up upgrading um, our cabinets to go right to the ceiling I love that I've always done that it makes the kitchen feel so big I picked out this backsplash. It's um, I love the gray tiles. I forgot the name of it, but um, I love the cool tones. We did black marble countertops on the back, and then when on the main island, we did white quartz countertops with these maple white oak cabinets with black hardware. Um, I wanted to mix and match it. I love that look. I saw it done somewhere else, and I loved it. Really nice size pantry. Right here, we have a little mud room, which is gonna be a DIY project. And then this is the powder bathroom on the main floor. So this is obviously gonna be another project, lots of projects to do on this new home. But right here, we did do laminate throughout our main floor. We did it into the master bedroom, which I absolutely love. It just keeps your floors clean. You're not dealing with carpet over the years, but this home has a lot of great natural lighting. Um, really great sized windows as well. All of the lighting will end up upgrading over time throughout the home, but this is definitely what you know just comes with. You guys will see all of our blue marks everywhere that still have to be touched up. This is our master bathroom. The master bathroom, we upgraded the shower. We opted to not do the tub and do a little bit bigger of a shower. This bathroom also has a washer and dryer hookup right in this closet right here on the, to the right. Um, and then this is the master closet. It's towards the front of the home. I Not ideal. We do need to get shades all put in, in here. Pretty small of a closet for a master bedroom, but um, not too bad, but it is kind of small. Lots of storage in this bathroom. So we have this closet right here off to the left, which is the washer and dryer hookup. And then on the right right here is a linen closet. So at least we have some space for linens and our own washer and dryer in the master bedroom, which I really like as well. So going upstairs, I want to show you guys um, the upstairs as well. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. Um, this home does not have a basement, which is what we are usually used to. So we definitely decluttered a lot of our junk. Up here, we upgraded to have a loft in this home. If we didn't, it would just be a big great room, but we really needed the space for our kids and a play area. So this loft is definitely going to be a kind of movie theater uh, living area. So up here is the powder bathroom, pretty standard. We just did white quartz countertops, white cabinets. We did black hardware throughout the whole home, which I really, really like. That was an upgrade, um, but I would never go back from that. I just love that it's black and not kind of like that standard nickel, which is a typical choice with a lot of builders. We did carpet throughout the home. Um, up here in this bathroom, we um chose a kind of like a gray concrete not concrete but it's like a gray um tile with these little nice white white vining through it um we did chose the oversized tiles as well so that is in our master the laundry room and the bathrooms and i really like it i really like that i incorporated the gray tones into the home as well and not just everything is like white and brown or whatever so these are the bedrooms pretty small these are gonna be the kids bedrooms pretty basic and standard nothing crazy in here just a light a closet and some windows but we're definitely gonna be doing um the kids room makeovers again but kind of doing something a little different but the loft i'm super happy about it's gonna be a great space where we can turn it into kind of a movie theater room but up here we did upgrade the chandelier in our entryway which is i think is a must if you're ever building a home if you can have the builder install great room chandeliers if your home can have one hands down it's so worth it this is the backyard we did upgrade to have turf in that the builder is putting in um so it will be done by the time we are all done and moved in 
um yeah this is a master bedroom one more look over here and then this is also the garage it's a great size it's a little bit it's almost like a three car thank you guys for watching my empty house tour i hope you guys enjoyed it we have lots of work to do lots of fun projects lots of styling videos are gonna be coming your way but yeah so anyways thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys later Stay